Welcome back, guys, to the Neighbor Star League down here at the Next Gen Arena Live. My name is Brandon, or Valdez, you could call me, and I am joined by Moonlade, and we had one of the greatest TVZ series I have ever seen. That was a fantastic series, Drive Banana. That was amazing, man. I, uh, I've had so much fun so far, and I cannot wait to uh, go into this match, this TVT match, Dream against Maru. Yeah, I mean, even if you didn't do research on either of these guys, or if you didn't believe us, like some of their most recent 10 games, Dream is 9-1 and one against Zerg, but 3-7 and seven against Terran. That tells you a lot about this group and how much he wants to go up against Dark in the winner's match. Yeah, no doubt about that. He's been uh, having a bit of a rough time in TVT in recent times, dropping out of his GSL match to Terran's alone. Yeah. And even, I believe, did he drop? I think he dropped a game to Byung in recent times in Pro League yes, as well. Yes, he did. Yeah. So he's just having a pretty bad Shrek record in, in recent times in this matchup. Did so you I'm say Shrek record? Shrek, Shrek <laughs> record. I wish hey, I his did. His Shrek record is quite high nowadays, actually. Yeah. In fact. Yeah. Um, <laughs> definitely worse than his, his Rex record. Yeah, man. Uh, we did see there uh, his incredible play in Solar, actually. Some of the highlights there, his Thor uh, micro in and out of the medevacs. Inspiring, I yeah. would have to say. I was so impressed when I saw his TBZ. Definitely. I couldn't believe that I defeated him a couple of years ago at IAM <laughs> Bellas. <laughs> I had, I just like, I looked at him like, how did I do it back then? I have no idea. This guy's a, this guy's a monster at, at this matchup. Yeah, man. Well... <laughs> Two years later, after joining SK Telecom, here we are. And he's got a huge match ahead of him in Maru. Maru is unbelievably good. Uh, one of the best Terrans, if not the best in the world. I'm sure a lot of people are calling him that at this point. Uh, and, pretty uh, safe to say. I yeah, know. I mean, I gotta say. definitely I would have to say as well. Uh, we do see him taking down Jim here in the round of 32. Jim, our Chinese player that did qualify. Uh, oh, that's Unfortunately, right. did uh, get wiped out. Just barely. I think he did one, win one game here yeah. against Mara, which is pretty impressive. Pretty, pretty impressive. Then the Shrekening happens, <laughs> and I mean the last TVT we saw against, uh, uh, we saw for Maru was against Hack in GSL a long time ago. It's been a long time since we've seen him play this matchup. Yeah, who knows, man? Maybe Maru's looking really good in TVC, TVP, but maybe his TVT is lacking as well. We're gonna have to wait and see, get into these matches and see what the two players do throw at each other. But here we go into the maps, guys. Nimbus and King Sage from Station are banned by Dream, whereas Catalina and Foxtrot Labs banned out by Maru. Yeah, Merry-Go-Round, Overgrowth, and Deadwing. Okay, so Merry-Go-Round, no doubt going to be the, probably the most aggressive map of the three. Mm. So a lot of fireworks going off there. Dream, I got to say, when I was watching his style in recent times, he's a very aggressive Terran versus Terran player. Likes to go with the gas first and likes to go, yeah, just a lot of aggression. Uh, I mean, same with Maru, though, like, time and time again. I think Maru, above all else, loves his Banshees. He's, he's just yeah, so yeah. damn good at his Banshee multitasking and harassment. And that's what he really banks on in early game to get him ahead in these matchups. We'll not be surprised to see some of that. We're going to get right into this game number one here, guys. Like you were saying, it's going to be a very aggressive back and forth game. Kind of the theme here tonight. We had a crazy TVC. Are we going to have a crazy TVT? I believe so. So match number two here, set number one, a merry-go-round dream versus Maru. Down here in the south, in the red, one of our Terran players tonight, it is Dream. And your Terran player in the top right, in blue, it is Maru. Arguably the best Terran in the world, I would have to say, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I would agree with you there. Uh, the best and smallest, but his size does not affect his skill. This guy is unbelievably good. It even says it there, first place Terran. <laughs> yeah. So even Korean fans uh, agreeing with us on this one. Oh man, you, I mean, you can just look at what he's done so far and it's it's pretty safe to say at this point. Mm. No one really rivals him. I guess the only person you could say who's close is maybe Innovation, just based on yeah. his performance yeah. in pro, uh, pro League, but 
Then again, looking at Innovation's matches that he did, when I, I believe like two or three of them were against kind of just like mid-level players. Whereas Maru, he goes to I Am Taipei and just barely loses to life. So, yeah, I, I would definitely still put Maru a little bit ahead of Innovation, but Innovation may be second place if, if we're going down the, the tier rankings here today, Moonblade. Yeah, I'd put him in second place. I don't know who would be third, though, for Terran at this point, <laughs> if we want to keep going. We, I mean, we could do a top how, 10. How deep are we going to go uh, here, Moonblade, in the early game? We want to do a top 10, game. maybe top 20. <laughs> then we can do foreigners as well. I mean, uh, we, we, got, we got time to kill. It's, it's, uh, it's a gas first from Dream, as I expected, as my analysis foretold. You're, you're so on point today, Moonblade. Well, I know this player because I beat him at IEM. Unbelievable yeah. casting tonight Thank from Moonblade. I, I mean, I, I, just, I, can, I understand this player. Yeah, you were just on such a different level there uh, once you beat him in that one game, and I am. Hey, it was two why, games. Why don't we mention that like a couple more times? Uh, like. It was actually two <laughs> games. It was a two-zero. Thank oh, you, man. Valdez. That's uh, that's really impressive. Yeah, man. Don't forget, never forget two games. Reaper, well, yeah. or Reaper from Dream. Reaper comes out. He was the guy who went for gas first, right? Or was that Maru? Yes. I believe that doesn't. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> hang on. Maybe it was just a Reaper expanded. That wasn't the gas vested after all. Well, I, when I, I think I about think it, I think someone's barracks was late there. I think it was late. You know, I'm. Uh, it looked like it was at least, but I was too busy <laughs> fantasizing <laughs> about, about my that time you beat Dream. About my time in Katowice. I, uh, I may have misread that build order in my production tab. I'm sorry. It's okay. I, I think I'm with you on that one. Someone's barracks was later, but um, sometimes it's a, a confusing because red is on top, but on the map they're on bottom. So mm. it, it's kind of hard to follow if you're only looking at production tabs. Yeah, that could have been it, actually. Let's just say it was that. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a matter of the UI guys, not of our, our <laughs> lack of focus. Anyway, Reaper is out on the map, and three Marines will be able to push it back. We do see a follow-up of just one Hellion at a time here at Amaru. First one is out, but the Reaper is going to escape up a hill. Yes. Looking to put on the pressure here is yeah. Maru. He's got a decent small force, but Dreamy already has that bunker up, so I think he should be okay. He should be okay, but we are going to see Maru go for that Banshee, as I also foretold Veldez. Oh, <laughs> but I got this one right, so it's okay. But the Reaper's going to scout it, actually. He's going to be dr running right past it. He sees Cloak yeah. is being upgraded. He knows what's on its way. Huge, huge scout. Throws down the engineering bay instantly. Starport 75% done. Dream setting himself up for a pretty decent early game. Yeah, quite decent indeed. I mean, he's already got that CC up. He's already pretty far ahead of Maru here. I have to say, Maru's ahead, of course, in tech, but Dream is doing everything possible, everything in his skill set here and the tools that he has to work with to shut down this Banshee. He's making turrets. He's got a Viking. He has a Widow Mine. There's nothing this guy isn't going to have. I guess maybe not a raven, but maybe we'll see that a little bit not later. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Maybe. Let's wait and see after this Viking what comes out. Yeah, just a nice defensive stance from Dream. Going to be pretty late in the tank production, which could be the next problem, dealing especially with Maru as he is making them. Maru might be going for some 1-1-1 aggression and try and end this out early once a couple of tanks are on the map. Looks like, actually, Dream is trying to bait him into the Widowmine. Like, try to get Maru to micro there against the Marines. Only sending out three, but it's not... Maru's not going to bite the bait here. He's going to come around the side. Cloak has finished now. Uh, Viking out of position. Going to find at least one kill before it gets chewed away. At will, now the Marines get in position here, but... Nice pick up there by Dream to save mo most of them. We have the follow-up of the second Banshee going towards the natural, whereas Dream may be looking for a drop at the same time. Yeah, they might run into each other, actually. And there is a pretty decently placed Widow Mine in that natural. Oh, nice kill on the Banshee. Let's towards see if the second, the second one goes down. Oop. He sees it just in time. Really nicely done by Maru, just keeping ahead about him. Here we go. Drop's going to come out of the main, but there's more than enough to deal with this. Even a tank in the mix. Yeah, there's way too much. So he does move out. Now the Cloak Banshee looking to come around once again. But there is even a third missile turret into production. 
may be able to find one kill here. Now the Viking is starting to get to work. This fly out of detection range, but is going in towards the main. Yeah, this is a pretty much a suicide mission at this point. Not finding much at all. Two SCVs. Four SCVs all up. For two Banshees. I don't think so, Valdez. No. Oh, this drop in the mid. Uh-oh. Wakes up just in time. And now we do see tanks moving across the map. And this is a window of opportunity for Maru. That Banshee going to be spotting that, uh, spotting the siege tank as well as the bunker. But I wonder if there's going to be enough for Dream to hold this uh, back. Second tank on the way. No turret at the front either, which makes it a bit of a problem. Scan's going to go down here. One more shot. We'll do it. There we go. Going to have to be using scans to get up this ramp. And here we go. He's going to start moving his way up. Does he have enough to stop this? SCDs are pulled here from Dream. He has a bit extra from that extra CC. Nice micro here by Maru, but he will be pushed back. Exchanging only six SCVs. Yeah, still Dream maintains the SCV lead. 40 to 35 in this current time. But that second CC is an almost finished building from Maru to go to those three orbitals, which will give him a pretty sufficient lead at this point of the game. Nice one of mine hit there. One more. Scans come down, and we'll clean up that final Banshee. We do have another Banshee, actually, finishing up here for Maru, so continuously building those and being annoying. Another drop coming into the main, maybe looking to snipe that Supply Depot. But Thanks. Maru does yes, yeah. whatever he can. time. Getting an SCV-02, going to be trading with some Marines. Quite a lot of Marines. Yeah, not bad, actually. Yeah, both players just kind of trading with each other, and I don't think, I don't think we saw. Uh, yeah, Dream did not see that third CC either, so he does not really understand where he's at in this game. If he's ahead or he's a bit behind, does he have to make up for something? Is he got to compensate? And, oh, nice spotting marine. Sees everything. How will Dream find his way in? This is the dream that we were seeing against T.Y. Valdez. He was uh, doing a lot of drops, a lot of aggression, especially on two base, not going too late. And he didn't really find any way in there so far. And it seems like Maru's kind of, you know, identified his strategy, whether or not he watched the replays. Uh, he knows what's going on in this game, at least. And he's pretty much shut down all these drops. One traded, I guess, evenly, but that was about it. Dream's not really pulling himself forward in this game essentially both his drops yeah both players have essentially deflected each other's attacks so far but maru kind of got ahead with builds though he is down about 20 supplies at this point he did get that faster third cc for his troubles and now maru has also taken the lead with scv count with work account dream once again maybe looking for another drop there's a Banshee out on the map, even cloaking up very, very early. Does spot one of those medevacs, but not sure if he's noticed it. That sensor tower is going to give him more than enough uh, time here to respond to any kind of drop that goes towards the main. Fancy little Banshee harass here, cutting off some reinforcements. And Look Dream at this. going for that massive drop, but he's going to be running into a lot of bio and tanks. This is not going to work out whatsoever, but he's committing hard to it. He's committing super hard. The STDs are pulled here, and I don't know about this man. Wow. Big commitment. You know, he almost got it as well. Props to him. Flying in on three turrets, two siege tanks, and like 20 Marines. <laughs> that takes a lot of balls. And he's following it up, man. He's not done yet. That's going straight towards the main. This kid is crazy, man. Okay, he does reroute it. Yeah. <laughs> not doing it just yet. He traded pretty well, considering he does have the supply lead currently. He finally put down his third CC. Going to be building that. Mm. Maru did lose a lot of SCVs in that attack as well to defend it, but looking at 10 counts right now, it is 2 to 5. Maru's about to get a 6-1, so he's up about 4 tanks, maybe 3.5, I guess you could say. And he's looking to take that third base and get into a nice position with those tanks to defend. Well, yeah, well, this is Dream's opportunity to get in position, but he isn't going to be moving forward just yet. Not enough tanks up there, only one. 
And yeah, that is just such a, uh, it's such a disadvantage being behind in tanks, especially that much. Finds engaging so much harder, especially once it's set up. Scouting Marine sees exactly where Dream is. And Maru just gets in place. Yeah, Maru should be just fine with this. Like two or three scans going down there, just trying to get an idea of what the army comp is, but you don't want to run into that. Oh, Stim 4. Looks like we are going to see Maru commit to this. I don't know. There's a couple of tanks out there. The tanks of Maru not really in this fight at all, but he's just got the more, you know, the higher number here in terms of Marines, so he's easily able to clean this up. Yeah, high number and just a bit of a better engagement, better concave. He's going to clean it up. He's going to get another tank for his trouble. Up 10 supplies now, Maru. They were even on upgrades as well, Valdez. So and now Maru possibly wanting to go for the kill here. He looks I like he's so. heading towards that third base. That is just now dropping down. Big concave here from Dream. Decent splits, trying to focus down these tanks, but that is a lot of tanks still. Is yeah. it going to be enough? Yeah, it's too many tanks and not much left. He's going to have to force to lift his third CC. And it's going to put him so far behind in economy. GG. Maru taps out. Uh, Dream taps out. Maru wins. Yeah, man. Dream, very interesting style. Uh, like you were saying before, we saw a lot of this against TY as well. Just going for big doom drops into the main. But I guess in those positions on merry-go-round, it's a decent idea. But Maru just had his number the entire time. He even had the sensor tower down. He was prepared for everything. Three missile turrets. He pulled, like, just enough SCVs, and he knew he could because he was head in his third base as well. So Maru just responding to everything that Dream was throwing at him perfectly. He and was he there was, you go. The only thing that could have, like, gone worse for Dream <laughs> in that fight was if the Marines were actually sitting underneath the medivacs as they flew in. Like, he mm. was so in position for it, it was ridiculous. Got a foreign fan in the audience. G'day, mate. <laughs> Back at it with Dream. How is he going to play this game? It is going to be overgrowth. Another one of the smaller maps, but less drop-oriented, I'd have to say.